Melania and Donald Trump's body language paints a clear picture. Donald Trump is no stranger to the spotlight, whether it's releasing a scathing statement or during campaign rallies. Unlike his wife Melania, who is less likely to appear in the spotlight with him and prefers to keep her life very private. When they appear together, it's quite a spectacle. Donald is exuberant and outspoken, drawing everyone's attention, whereas Melania is quiet and often criticized for her expressionless demeanor. Their interactions when side by side reveal more than just their contrasting personalities. Could there be more to their public display than what meets the eye? Or are we simply overthinking things? In this video, we'll highlight different times when Melania and Trump's body language painted a clear picture. Donald Trump prioritizes himself over Melania. Everything about Donald Trump speaks of power, focus, and purposefulness. His larger-than-life personality projects him as a powerful man. He often doesn't display much emotions, and he likes to speak his mind, not minding whose ox is gored. His wife Melania, on the other hand, comes across as shy and withdrawn. She doesn't naturally gravitate towards the spotlight and prefers to stay in the background. This creates a stark contrast in personality, making one wonder about the relationship dynamics between the two. Our first peek into what possibly could be a reflection of the couple's disposition towards each other was seen on Inauguration Day. The Trumps were to meet Michelle and Barack Obama at the White House. They arrived in their designated vehicle and were welcomed by the Obamas. It was a perfect moment for the world to get a glimpse of what the newly elected president and his first lady would look like together. As soon as the vehicle pulled up, Trump stepped out and without missing a beat, he proceeded to head towards the Obamas who were already on hand to welcome them. He didn't look back or check on his wife as he approached them. It was almost impossible to miss the air of detachment between Trump and Melania. He didn't wait for her to meet up with him as is customary, making one wonder if chivalry is indeed dead. He shuffled hurriedly ahead of her, didn't help her up the stairs, and didn't show her any overt acknowledgement during the short exchange between the Trumps and the Obamas. He also didn't formally introduce her to Michelle and Barack. Body language experts were quick to pick on these cues, prompting them to wonder if all was well with the Trumps. Melania looked stiff and uncomfortable, as though trying to mask her anxiety and discomfort. Her smile seemed tight and forced as she and her husband exchanged pleasantries with the Obamas. This was arguably the happiest day of their lives, but there was nothing to indicate that there was shared joy between the couple. The Obamas, on the other hand, effortlessly exuded warmth. Barack and Michelle, in their customary affable manner, were gracious towards Melania. Was this deliberate? Did they do this because they sensed Donald Trump's aloofness towards Melania? Well, nobody can tell. They welcomed them and ushered them in, holding their gazes and graciously led Melania along the White House. The situation didn't get any better as they moved around and posed for photographs. Trump repeatedly put himself in front of Melania, and he didn't make any overt attempt to make her feel like a part of the group. A body language expert after observing this scene highlighted how dominant Donald seemed to be over Melania. According to him, it was almost as if he told her what to do with the box during the gift exchange. Although Inauguration Day is about the president, meeting in the White House is for one family to welcome another. And in that meeting, the Trumps didn't look anything like a unit. A foremost body language expert, Dr. Lillian Glass, said that Trump walking in front of his wife came across as rude and that it showed a lack of affection. Coming from the backdrop of eight years of Barack and Michelle, it is easy to see why the world was taken aback by Trump's seeming indifference towards his wife. Barack had always shown love and affection towards Michelle. He openly adores her and uses every moment he gets to eulogize her. A few experts were quick to point out that this difference in body language between the Obamas and Trumps wasn't unfounded, considering the backgrounds of either relationship. They cited the fact that Barack and Michelle had always been a unit and had risen the ranks together, whereas Trump had married several times, and he ended up with Melania under very different circumstances from the Obamas. Is this enough justification for how Trump acted towards Melania? Could he have done better? These are questions that'll continue to linger whenever his actions towards Melania on Inauguration Day are brought up. 
Donald Trump prioritizes himself over Melania. Dancing is a great way for couples to connect and share intimacy. A couple's dance is a great opportunity to show affection, care, and tenderness, and to compliment and make your spouse feel loved. The inauguration dance between Trump and Melania was anything but affectionate. The public as well as body language experts quickly sensed the tension that existed between the couple. Rather than leaning into her husband, Melania's upper torso was pulled up, and her fingers, instead of curling into her husband's or holding tight onto his, were held away from his hand. According to body language experts, this indicated that she was not comforted by him. Things would get even more interesting when the president would dramatically pull away and sing, I did it my way to the audience. He did this without acknowledging Melania. It was as if he were indirectly saying that she wasn't part of the journey. This was another moment when they were meant to display their togetherness as a couple. And once more, Trump chose himself over his wife. There was a moment during the dance when she leaned in for a kiss. This was meant to be a tender and spontaneous moment, but something was visibly missing. The kiss was not followed by a smile or laughter. Rather than look spontaneous, it made it look planned and preconceived. It was cold and formal, as opposed to the soft and tender gesture it was meant to portray. Despite this unique and somewhat unusual dynamic between the pair, some experts still deem them to be a perfect match. They believe that her being accommodating is the perfect complement to Trump's huge ego and his endless need for attention. The argument is that Trump cannot be with someone who is competing for the spotlight and attention. So Melania is the perfect complement to Trump's personality. However true this might be, one is forced to wonder if this is adequate compensation for what many have come to see as a lack of obvious warmth between the couple. Donald and Melania's body language suggests tension. Barely a year into his presidency, President Donald Trump and his wife Melania were scheduled to ring in 2018 in Mar-a-Lago at Palm Beach, Florida. The president stopped to make a short speech as they made their way into the building. But it was not just the speech that caught people's attention. Melania's body language also spoke audibly. Melania's body was stiff as a statue, and if Donald noticed, he gave no indication. There was no hand-holding or even brushing of the shoulders. As he spoke, he didn't once make eye contact with his wife. It was apparent that Melania was trying to get his attention. She kept looking at him to see if he'd acknowledge her, but the acknowledgement didn't come. It is almost as if Melania has opted to suffer in silence while secretly hoping that he would acknowledge her. Melania rolls her eyes at Donald Trump. It isn't often that you'd see power couples such as the Trumps openly show their disdain for each other. So when Melania was seen to have rolled her eyes at Trump, tongues immediately got wagging. The day was October 21st, 2021. Trump's tenure as president had elapsed. Melania had comfortably slipped into obscurity and she made very little public appearances. But on this day, Trump and Melania stepped out for the fourth game of the World Series between the Houston Astros and Atlanta Braves. Naturally, their appearance would draw attention. The cameras got clicking, and in the flurry of photographs that followed, one particular picture caught people's attention. It was a picture in which Donald was grinning at the crowd and giving two thumbs up. Melania's smile, which had been fixed, seemed to momentarily slip away. She turned her head from her husband, glanced to the side and appeared to roll her eyes. The moment was fleeting as she quickly regained her poise and put on a placid smile. This didn't go unnoticed by people who wondered if there was more to that momentary slip up. Could Melania have been withholding some hidden grudge she had for Donald? Were the couple quarreling or was it something else that irritated her? Considering the couple's history of giving off an energy that indicated some existing tension between them, many speculated that that grimace and rolling of her eyes were directed towards her husband. However true or not that might be, that slip in expression was unmistakable and has continued to puzzle body language experts. Keep watching to find out what Melania does to Trump on a state visit to Israel. The Trumps finally show a connection. There is no marriage or relationship without its ruffles and misunderstandings. Couples experience highs and lows, and if you are in the spotlight, chances are that people would pick on the cues that might indicate what's going on between you and your spouse. 
The Trump and Melania dynamic has also given a rare glimpse of what it looks like when the going is good. One such occasion was when Trump announced his campaign for the 2024 presidential race at Mar-a-Lago. He and Melania, who was beside him, clasped their hands tightly together. But that was not the only indication that they were close. They famously leaned in towards each other, which is a subconscious cue that body language experts pick on, that tells them all is well with a couple. There seemed to be a tangible emotional connection between the couple, eliciting commentaries from casual observers and body language experts alike. Their body language that day was in stark contrast to what has been obtainable over the years. People wondered what had changed and speculated that the couple had grown closer over the years. Some said that it might not be unrelated to Trump's many run-ins with the law, which might have necessitated him opening up and seeking for support from Melania. Others said that it is just the usual couple dynamic on display. Although there's no way to categorically point out which school of thought is right, one thing is certain from that display. The Trumps seem to have a genuine emotional connection, and it was a welcome departure from what was obtainable in the past. Showing support, absent of emotions. Another dynamic to the Trump and Melania relationship is that of support without emotions. Melania's mother, Amalia Nobbs, passed away in January 2024. The funeral was attended by both her and her husband. This occasion proved to be revelatory of the kind of support they offer each other during somber moments. Trump cast a stoic, unwavering figure behind the visibly grieved Melania, who seemed to be struggling to keep it together. Her eyes darted back and forth as if in search of the emotional support that Trump didn't readily offer. Still, the tension within their bodies and the way he was poised directly behind her gave an indication of him offering support without emotions. It was as if he stood there as a mark of unwavering support during difficulty, minus the emotional component, of course. This made body language experts speculate that the couple have a mutual understanding in their relationship where they'll be by each other's side as a form of support. However, they won't be reliant on each other for emotional support. It was noteworthy that throughout the funeral service, the couple barely exchanged glances. There were no reassuring nods or squeezes, just a stoic look ahead of him on the part of Donald, and a quiet, somber composure on the part of Melania. The evolution of Trump and Melania's body language over time. We've looked at Donald and Melania in recent times and examined their body language, but what has the relationship dynamic been like in the past? Donald and Melania met in 1998 and started dating on and off until they got married in 2005. Before their marriage, they were spotted together at many public functions, and it was not difficult to see the sparks flying between them. A few months after Donald's divorce from Marla Maples was finalized, he was spotted with Melania at a function where an iconic photo of the duo was taken. This was in March 1999. In the photo, Trump can be seen to have his right arm around her possessively, while Melania is seated beside him, leaning in slightly with her legs double-crossed. Body language experts quickly dived in. Trump's gesture was interpreted as possessive, showing ownership and that of being proud and confident to be with her. Melania's, on the other hand, was interpreted as pretty strong and that she doesn't want to be seen as too sexual. It was as if she was closing herself off sexually slightly to him. Going by the fact that Trump was recently divorced, it goes without saying that Melania would have been guarded with him in public. Another moment when the couple were seen in their earlier years was a year later, at Paramount Hotel's 10th anniversary party. A picture of them was taken where Donald had his hand on Melania's forearm, and she had her face turned to him. They were speaking to each other and faced each other directly. They pretty much had the same dynamic from the previous year. The touch on her forearm could be interpreted as a modified ownership cue. However, it shows more tenderness because his grip is not heavy like in the previous picture. It is also worthy of note that they were looking directly at each other, and they seemed to be neck deep in the conversation. Body language experts analyzed this picture and were quick to conclude that this probably was their baseline. The relationship dynamic between the two showed Trump as the superior figure cast in the mold of a possessive alpha that was also capable of showing tenderness. While Melania was responsive to this tenderness, 
and welcomed his presence into her space. Another early picture of the couple together shows them at a Met game in the year 2000. Donald can be seen drinking a soda through a straw, while Melania looks on blankly, looking bored and distracted. Fires do not sizzle anywhere in the picture, and they seem detached and distant from one another. Experts commented that Melania was not looking super happy. They wondered if this was reflective of what was going on in the relationship, or if she was simply bored by the game. Yet another early picture of the couple shows them at the Manolo Blahnik exhibition in 2003. Gone were the pictures of the couple in the early stages of romance. In place of them were more serious-looking photos. The couple were seen standing side by side, with their hands barely touching. Melania did not wear what is now described as her custom placid smile. As a matter of fact, at this point, it was rare to see photos of the couple in which Melania was smiling. Donald, on the other hand, wore a broad grin and looked towards the cameras. Donald shows his front teeth, which for men is a joyful smile. And while Melania looked a bit tense in the picture, she still had happy eyes. Their relationship seems to be evolving, and it is progressively reflected in their body language over the years. In a picture taken in the ballet in 2008, Melania is seen smiling, but the smile appears to be very tense. Donald has his arm around her but does not lean in or smile. From every indication, they seem to be giving the photographer what they want. It's almost as if they want the shot taken so that they can move on to other things. By 2011, at the Woolman Rink, a photo of the couple that was taken shows a very different dynamic from previous ones. It set the template for a long time to follow. They seem distant and detached as they look forward. Their faces are tense and their bodies are rigid. They are not leaning in towards each other and there is no indication of warmth between them. An expert upon seeing this picture remarked that, you can see the breakage. It is as though there is a fracture in their relationship that is obvious for the world to see. Fast forward to 2016 at the final Iowa campaign rally. Donald and Melania can be spotted leaning in and sharing a kiss while on the podium. Donald was at the heart of his contest for the United States presidency. He had toured various cities and was wrapping up his campaign rally in Iowa. In that picture, he shared a kiss with Melania, but people were not buying it, especially the body language experts. Firstly, it was not a direct kiss. Donald and Melania simply pressed their faces together and blew kisses in the direction of the crowd. Also, it looked like a kiss for the cameras in every sense of the word. It didn't look spontaneous and didn't convey the necessary degree of warmth to make it convincing. In plain terms, it didn't look like something that they practiced often. But perhaps the most significant public show of disaffection towards Trump by Melania was on the inauguration day. Media outlets the world over picked on a scene where Trump, who was ahead of Melania, turned to have a word. She smiled at him while he talked, but as soon as he turned around, her face fell. An earthquake couldn't have been louder than the sound of that face fall. Cameras zoomed in on it as people around the world tried to make sense of the reason behind the face fall. People speculated that this might have not been unrelated to an earlier incident when the Trumps met the Obamas that day. Trump had walked in front of Melania and had not accorded her the necessary courtesy she deserved. Ironically, when the face fall happened, Trump was still ahead of her, and he didn't stop to ensure that she was beside him. Before this incident, it was unheard of for the First Lady to show open disdain to her spouse, especially on Inauguration Day. This sparked a media frenzy as people homed in on this unusual scene and tried to decipher what was really behind it. Some individuals speculated that Melania's facial expression was not directed at Trump. He might have been speaking to his daughter Ivanka when he turned around, and the disdain she showed after he faced forward was directed towards Ivanka, not Trump. Whether this is true or not, one thing holds. Melania's body language communicated open disdain for whatever must have been going on at the moment. Melania swats Trump's hand twice. If you think that Melania's face fall was dramatic, wait until you see the hand swats. While on an official visit to Israel, 
Something happened that got the world talking. Melania and Trump were walking down the red carpet, while accompanied by other officials. Trump is seen to extend his left hand towards Melania, who immediately swats it away. The moment was fleeting, but it is captured by cameras worldwide. Body language experts tried to explain it away. They opined that holding hands would have been disrespectful to the Orthodox Jewish tradition. However, Melania went on to do the same thing when they landed in Rome. There was no doubt this time that this was a deliberate act. Aside from the face fall, this would be the second time Melania would show open disdain for Trump. Smacking his hand showed just how much tension existed between the couple. You don't need body language experts to tell you that something is amiss. There have been many instances in which the body language between Trump and Melania seemed off. The reasons could be attributed to internal squabbles, couple fights, and other underlying motives that we might not be privy to. According to some body language experts, another reason that people tend to overlook might be the power dynamics between the couple. Whereas Melania was previously happy to take a step back before she became first lady, she might have begun to want more as time progressed. Initially, she focused on looking immaculate and beautiful. She seemed to see her role as one of complimenting and stoking Trump's alpha male credentials. Her body language was said to be more red carpet than White House. This suggested that she saw herself more as a beautiful attachment than the kind of role equal that we saw from previous presidents, especially the Obamas. However, there seems to have been a turning point in the First Lady's demeanor towards her husband. As time progressed, she eased herself more into the role of a First Lady and was no longer afraid of upstaging her husband. This could be seen in the way she carried herself. Instead of shadowing her husband, she gave off spontaneous-looking waves and made direct connections to her audience. This suggested growing confidence and a growing lack of wariness about upstaging Trump. There are so many things at play in a couple's mind when they make public appearances. They must strike the correct poses, say the right words, and carry on in a manner that is acceptable to their status and the public. Donald and Melania might have not been the most popular president and first lady, but they sure gave the public many talking points whenever they made appearances. The drama, the tension, and the unspoken words fed people's curiosity and would continue to do so for a long time. Body language experts say that the way a couple interacts gives us an insight into the going-ons in their relationship. We might never know to what extent this holds, but one thing's for sure, and that is, eyes will continue to be on celebrity couples whenever they step out. Do you think that there's more to the body language displays Trump and Melania have been showing over the years, or do you feel like we are overthinking it? What's your opinion as to the reason why Melania swatted Trump's hand twice while on an official visit? Let us know in the comment below. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel and tell us any interesting celebrity gist you'd like us to talk about.